1 and 2 tailed tests, Wikipedia article audio. In statistical significance testing, a one-tailed test and a two-tailed test are alternative ways of computing the statistical significance of a parameter inferred from a data set, in terms of a test statistic. A two-tailed test is appropriate if the estimated value may be more than or less than the reference value, for example, whether a test taker may score above or below the historical average. A one-tailed test is appropriate if the estimated value may depart from the reference value in only one direction, for example, whether a machine produces more than 1% defective products. Alternative names are one-sided and two-sided tests, the terminology tail is used because the extreme portions of distributions, where observations lead to rejection of the null hypothesis, are small and often tail off toward zero as in the normal distribution or bell curve, pictured on the right. Applications Coin flipping example History Specific tests One-tailed tests are used for asymmetric distributions that have a single tail, such as the chi-squared distribution, which are common in measuring goodness of fit, or for one side of a distribution that has two tails, such as the normal distribution, which is common in estimating location, this corresponds to specifying a direction. Two-tailed tests are only applicable when there are two tails, such as in the normal distribution, and correspond to considering either direction significant. In the approach of Ronald Fisher, the null hypothesis H0 will be rejected when the p-value of the test statistic is sufficiently extreme and thus judged unlikely to be the result of chance. In a one-tailed test, extreme is decided beforehand as either meaning sufficiently small or meaning sufficiently large values in the other direction are considered not significant. In a two-tailed test, Extreme means either sufficiently small or sufficiently large, and values in either direction are considered significant. For a given test statistic there is a single two-tailed test, and two one-tailed tests, one each for either direction. Given data of a given significance level in a two-tailed test for a test statistic, in the corresponding one-tailed tests for the same test statistic it will be considered either twice as significant, if the data is in the direction specified by the test, or not significant at all, if the data is in the direction opposite that specified by the test. For example, if flipping a coin, testing whether it is biased towards heads is a one-tailed test, and getting data of all heads would be seen as highly significant, while getting data of all tails would be not significant at all. By contrast, testing whether it is biased in either direction is a two-tailed test, and either all heads or all tails would both be seen as highly significant data. In medical testing, while one is generally interested in whether a treatment results in outcomes that are better than chance, thus suggesting a one-tailed test, a worse outcome is also interesting for the scientific field, therefore one should use a two-tailed test that corresponds instead to testing whether the treatment results in outcomes that are different from chance, either better or worse. In the archetypal lady tasting tea experiment, Fisher tested whether the lady in question was better than chance at distinguishing two types of tea preparation, not whether her ability was different from chance, and thus he used a one-tailed test. In coin flipping, the null hypothesis is a sequence of Bernoulli trials with probability 0.5, yielding a random variable x which is 1 for heads and 0 for tails, and a common test statistic is the sample mean, x, dot, dot, if testing for whether the coin is biased towards heads, a one-tailed test would be used only large numbers of heads would be significant. In that case a data set of five heads, with sample mean of one, 
has a 1 slash 32 equals 0 0.03125 0 0.03 chance of occurring 5 equals 1 slash 32 and thus would have p 0 0.03 and would be significant if using 0.05 as the cutoff. However, if testing for whether the coin is biased towards heads or tails, a two-tailed test would be used, and a data set of five heads is as extreme as a data set of five tails, so the p-value would be 2 slash 32 equals 0 0.0625 0.06 and this would not be significant if using 0.05 as the cutoff. The p-value was introduced by Carl Pearson in the Pearson's chi-squared test, where he defined p as the probability that the statistic would be at or above a given level. This is a one-tailed definition, and the chi-squared distribution is asymmetric, only assuming positive or zero values, and has only one tail the upper one. It measures goodness of fit of data with a theoretical distribution, with zero corresponding to exact agreement with the theoretical distribution, the p-value thus measures how likely the fit would be this bad or worse. The distinction between one-tailed and two-tailed tests was popularized by Ronald Fisher in the influential book Statistical Methods for Research Workers where he applied it especially to the normal distribution, which is a symmetric distribution with two equal tails. The normal distribution is a common measure of location, rather than goodness of fit, and has two tails, corresponding to the estimate of location being above or below the theoretical location. In the case of a symmetric distribution such as the normal distribution, the one-tailed p-value is exactly half the two-tailed p-value. Some confusion is sometimes introduced by the fact that in some cases we wish to know the probability that the deviation, known to be positive, shall exceed an observed value, whereas in other cases the probability required is that a deviation, which is equally frequently positive and negative, shall exceed an observed value the latter probability is always half the former. Fisher emphasized the importance of measuring the tail the observed value of the test statistic in all more extreme rather than simply the probability of specific outcome itself, in his The Design of Experiments. He explains this as because a specific set of data may be unlikely, but more extreme outcomes likely, so seen in this light the specific but not extreme unlikely data should not be considered significant. If the test statistic follows a student's t-distribution in the null hypothesis which is common where the underlying variable follows a normal distribution with unknown scaling factor, then the test is referred to as a one-tailed or two-tailed t-test. If the test is performed using the actual population mean and variance, rather than an estimate from a sample, it would be called a one-tailed or two-tailed z-test. The statistical tables for t and for z provide critical values for both one- and two-tailed tests. That is, they provide the critical values that cut off an entire region at one or the other end of the sampling distribution as well as the critical values that cut off the regions at both ends of the sampling distribution.